Paging Dr. White. Dr. White, call your office. Dr. White, call your office. Mm -hmm. I have been trying to call Amanda since yesterday. She hasn't returned any of my calls. She hasn't responded to any of my messages. Dr. White. She's fine, Jake. She's resting quietly. Don't take it personally. She's just trying not to stress out. If she's pregnant, she wants to make sure that she's not going to compromise it. If she's pregnant? Yes. Well, she couldn't be pregnant. I mean, how could she be pregnant? I spoke to Dr. Hines, and she said she didn't perform the insemination. Yes, Jake, you're right, she didn't. I called her personally and told her that her services are no longer needed. Why would you do that? Answer me. Why would you do that? Why don't you just try and take it easy, Jake? I asked you a question. I didn't use Dr. Hines because she doesn't have a very good track record when it comes to successful inseminations. There's an art to it, as you may well so know. So you're just now knowing about Dr. Hines' track record? Why, why, did you, why did you make this decision? Who, who, what doctor did you use? A doctor I met at a conference several years ago, whose success rate was double that of Dr. Hines. When I showed Amanda the stats, she was on board. Why, why didn't Amanda tell me about it? <laughs> I don't know, Jake. Maybe because you've been so overpowering lately, you know, so overprotective. Amanda wants this done, don't you get it? She wants to have this baby and get on with her life with you. Maybe she doesn't want to talk about it. My suggestion, don't press her on the subject. You're only going to stress her out. First of all, don't talk down to me, okay? And I'm not the reason that she's stressed out. Why did you switch doctors? Why wasn't uh, I told? Is there a reason? Oh is there gosh, a reason that know, I was left out and this, wasn't told? This paranoia thing of yours is really getting boring. Amanda's fine, Jake. So why don't you stop trying to find problems where there aren't any? I'm going to talk to Amanda. Fine. Go ahead, talk to Amanda. Perfect timing. Here she comes. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I'll leave you two lovebirds. Gotta go. Dr. Battaglia, call extension 19. What do you got? First trimester pregnancy, possible miscarriage. Pressure is 80 by palp. This isn't a normal bleed for this earlier miscarriage. Get a typed in cross, Nancy. I want sat coag and iron studies. And I want a vaginal sonogram before we go into the OR. I want to make sure this isn't a tumor, an aneurysm, or anything else. Okay, come on, let's go. David. Is she going to be all right? She's lost a lot of blood. Are you the one that found her? Yeah. Well, let's hope you brought her here in time. Hey, how's Annie? I'm looking for family. Where's Scott? He left. What's, what's her status? I'm not at liberty to discuss this with you, Ryan. She's the mother of my daughter. Please. How is she? She just came out of surgery. She lost the baby. And a lot more blood than one would expect. She came in, she wasn't in good shape. That unfortunately hasn't changed. It's Annie. Yeah. Jake thinks you raped me. What? <sighs> well, we both know that's not what happened. He knows something happened. He knows I'm keeping it from him. He's not gonna stop until he gets the truth. Do you understand? He's going to hate me. He is never... Jake isn't going to find out unless one of us tells him, all right? Everything's going to be fine. Don't touch me. Don't ever touch me again. <clears throat> oh. 